Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Tease McGee, man. We are back here with another video today. I hope everybody out there is doing well, taking care of themselves. Hope you guys drink your water today, eat your vegetables, all that good stuff. Um, I'm doing pretty good today. I'm in a good mood, man. Um, you know, uh, I got something new for us today. Uh, I'm really into reacting to new stuff right now. Um, today we have uh, Eagles. Uh, well, they're not, it's not the Eagles, right? Oh, it is the Eagles, okay. Um, so yeah, today we have the Eagles. Um, I just want to give a brief introduction uh, since this is my first time reacting to their music. Um, the Eagles are an American rock band formed in Los Angeles in 1971. The founding members were Glenn Frey, guitars and vocals, uh, Don Henley, drums and vocals, Bernie Leiden, guitar and vocals, and Randy Meisner, bass, guitar, and vocals. With five members, one single, six number one albums. Well, did I say that right? One single, really? Six number one albums, six Grammy Awards, and five American Music Awards. The Eagles were one of the most successful musical acts of the 1970s. Their album, Their Greatest Hits, 1971 through 1975, and Hotel California ranked first and third respectively, among the best-selling albums in the United States. With 38 million and 26 million album units in sales, the Eagles are one of the world's best-selling bands, having sold more than 150 million records, including 100 million sold in US alone. They were ranked number 75 on Rolling Stone's 2004 list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. Wow very very high praise um but yeah uh we're actually gonna get into the uh, hotel california record um actually this is a live performance it doesn't say where where they performed at um but i did like a little five second test to see if it was really the video because you know these youtube videos they'd be a mess nowadays and you gotta really see if it's uh the real thing or not but yeah the likes to dislike is pretty uh well in favor of the likes so that tells me that this video is uh pretty good to go so um let's get into it man this is eagles hotel california let's get it <laughs> She got the Mercedes Benz. She got a lot 
her pretty, pretty boys that she calls friends. How they dance in the courtyard, sweet summer sweat. Some dance to remember, some dance to forget. So I call him the captain. Please bring me my wine. He said, We haven't had that spirit here since 1969. And still those voices are calling from far away. Wake you up in the middle of the night just to hear them say, Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place, such a lovely place. She said, we're all just prisoners here of our own device. And in the master's chambers, gathered for the feast. They stab it with their stealing knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Last thing I remember, I was running for the door. And you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Playback value to that record. Um, definitely gonna be listening to that record quite a bit in the future. Uh, just a dope ass vibe. Um, takes you somewhere, it really does. Heartfelt, a whole lot of heart in that record. Um, 
uh just a dope ass vibe uh i it, it i love the cadence of the song too just how he was obviously i'm not speaking english but you guys can understand the cadence that cadence was dope as shit I, this is my first band where I've seen the the um, the drums the drummer be the lead vocalist. That's that that was fire to me. I, I haven't seen that yet. I didn't even know they did that. So that was that was pretty dope to see. So um, I thought that was super fucking impressive. Um, you know that was great. Uh, loved how the guitar. I think. This is my first time seeing the the guitar. What kind of guitar is that when they have two? Um, what do you call them? What do you call them? The 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 strings. It's like two panels. What do you? What is that? Like I, I, that's my first time seeing that. It's like a like a double guitar or something like that. Like I thought that was fucking fire. Um, it just looked like the the two guitars. They were having a great time. Um, uh, just rocking out together. Y'all see them smiling and, you know, the body gestures and all that. So to uh, let you know that they're having a great time. I thought their chemistry was all great, you know, and I thought this was just a super, super dope record, man. Just just from a few notes that I took, um, you know, I don't want to go overboard with the notes. Um, but we can go ahead and check out these lyrics really quick, guys. Uh... Wow, that record was dope. And the reason why you guys see me like go like this at the beginning of the record <laughs> is because um, there's this artist, his name's Frank Ocean, really, really dope. I really would suggest all you guys go check him out if you haven't, if you haven't heard his music before. He's brilliant, amazing. Um, but um, yeah, so we had, no, I literally thought that was, um, Frank Ocean, he had this mixtape called Nostalgia Ultra. And on that record, he had, I mean, on yeah, on that project, he had this record called uh, American Wedding. And it samples the exact same cadence from this record. That's why I was saying, because I always loved that record. And I was like, oh, man, I always gave credit to Frank Ocean on that. I was like, oh, man, I love that song. Da, da, da. But I literally just found out during the reaction that he sampled, not even sampled, he just kind of, swagger jack they cadence you know what i'm saying like obviously he probably saluted and gave them their props and credited them on the song but um i thought that was just dope man how like i never knew that like i always thought that was frank ocean's song that's not really his song so uh i mean they gave you your entire cadence of the song so i can't say that it's yours even though the lyrics of the song are completely different but the feel of it, the vibe, even the guitar, like the whole the sound of the track. So, yeah, that was, that was just pretty dope, though. But uh, all right, guys, we are right here at the Hotel California lyrics uh, from the Eagles. Uh, this record was produced by Bill Zimchek. Uh, it's from their uh, Hotel California album. Um, so that's pretty dope to notice the, the title track. That's dope as shit. Um, Verse one from Don Henley uh, starts on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of colitas rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. There she stood in the doorway I heard the missing bell. No, I'm sorry, guys. There she stood in the doorway. I heard the mission bell. And I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven or this could be hell. Then she lit up a candle and she shoved me the way. There were voices down the corridor. I thought I heard them say, Woo, welcome to Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. That's just, come on, man. So much heart in this. Plenty of room at the Hotel California any time of year. 
you can find it here. Damn, I love this record, man. Verse two, all right, verse two from Don Henley. Her mind is Tiffany twisted. What? Verse two, Don Henley. Her mind is Tiffany twisted. She got the Mercedes Benz. She got a lot of pretty, pretty boys. She calls friends. How they dance in the courtyard. Sweet summer sweat. Some dance to remember, some dance to forget. So I called up the captain. Please bring my wine. He said, we haven't had the spirit here since 1969. And still those voices are calling from far away. Wake you in the middle of the night just to hear them say. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel California. Oh man, such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. Delivering it up at Hotel California. What a nice surprise. Bring your alibi. I obviously can't sing like Don Henley, but damn, it just make you want to sing, man. It should just make you want to sing. Um, verse three, Don Henley. Sorry if y'all heard some extracurricular activities in the atmosphere. Sorry about that. I'm now I'm trying to make this work, y'all. I gotta I gotta get back on my sh man. But um, verse three, Don Henley. Mirrors on the ceiling, the pink champagne on ice, and she said, "We are all just prisoners here, of our own device, and in the master's chambers." They gathered for the feast. They stabbed it with their steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Last thing I remember, I was running for the door. I had to find the passage back to the place I was before. Relax, said the night man. We are programmed to receive. You can check out anytime you like but you can never leave. I scroll down, immediately I see best song ever. Man, listen, bro. This gotta be one of the best songs ever, man. Just this whole vibe of this record. I love this record. I don't want this reaction to end. This is one of the reactions where I just wanna go back and listen to this shit again, to be honest with you, man. Damn, this shit is dope, man. Uh, Looks like Hold on, I'm gonna read this little side note over here, man. Um, really loving this record right now. One of the most mysterious and widely speculated songs in rock history, Hotel California, is best described in the words of its creators. As Don Henley explained in the Daily Mail, dated September 11, 2007, some of the wilder interpretations of that song have been amazing. It was really about the excesses of an, of an American culture and certain girls we knew, but it also, but it was also about the uneasy balance between art and commerce. Hmm. Though the annotations to the left do their best to decipher Henley and CO's work, words, excuse me, it's important to keep in mind a quote from the Eagles member, Glenn Frey, vagary, I hope I'm saying that right. I, you know, guy, you guys know I bought some words. Vagary is the primary tool of songwriters. Mm. In response to the insinuation that the first working title of the song was Mexican reggae, Don Felder laughed and responded, yes, that's right. It really wasn't a title. When I first wrote all the music for it, I put it on a cassette with about 16 or 17 other song ideas. Another one was what later became Victim of Love and gave copies of the cassette to Joe Walsh, Don Henley, Glenn Frey, and Randy Meisner. At the time I said, if there's anything on this cassette you like, you want to work on, call me and let me know. And so Henley said, I like that song that sounds like Mexican reggae. That was his description of what it drew in his mind. And later we started talking about it. 
and he came up with the framework lyrically of the hotel being a physical structure called the Hotel California, which there is no real Hotel California other than the one that's down on Sunset here. The Beverly Hills Hotel is the artwork of the front cover. During the 58th Grammys in February 2016, the Eagles were presented with their Grammy from 1977 for album of the year because they didn't attend the Grammys in 77. This took place during a commercial break just after they and Jackson Brown finished a tribute to Glenn Frey. Wow. How y'all receive y'all award like 50 years later? What the, how does that happen? And let me just see something real quick. Um, Cause I wanna see what happened to Frey. Cause they said they, they were doing a tribute to him. I'm sorry, rest in peace, uh, Glenn Frey. Uh, he did pass away. Wow. Rest in peace, Glenn Frey. Singer, songwriter, lead vocals and front man of the Eagles. Wow, man. This record was written by Don Henley, Don Felder, and Glenn Frey. Uh, percussion, Don Henley. Background vocals, Don Henley, Don Felder, and Glenn Frey. <laughs> Joe Walsh and Randy Meisner. Guitar, Don Felder, Glenn Frey, and Joe Walsh. Drums, Don Henley. Bass, Randy Meisner. Lead vocals, Don Henley. This record was released December 8th of 1976. Wow. Oh, look, and there it goes. This record was sampled in American Wedding by Frank Ocean, featuring Joe, uh, Jane Fauntleroy. <laughs> See, there you go. I knew I heard this record. I'm like, bro, I love that record on Frank Ocean thing, man. But that's going to about do it, guys. Damn, we going on a long ass video for this one. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this one, man. I really thoroughly enjoyed this record. Um, make sure that you guys subscribe if you're new. Make sure you uh, leave a comment down below if you are an Eagles fan. Uh, let me know your favorite record or any records that I should uh, check out from them. Um, yeah, and make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed and turn on those post notifications for my future uploads. Because I, I upload sporadically. I never know when I'm going to have time to do videos, so I just try to drop. I'm about to try to get back into that everyday type of flow, at least one a day. So um, we'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves. Love you all. Until I see you again, peace out.